Hi there guys, how are we doing? This is your friend and tutor Manus and today I'm going to be continuing with my discussion on prediction of planes. Well, to be very specific, we're going to be talking about a circular plate having negligible thickness. All right, so let's see what the problem has in store. Here we go. It goes like this. A circular plate of negligible thickness and 50 mm diameter appears as an ellipse in the front view, having its major axis 50 mm long and minor axis 30 mm long. Draw its top view when the major axis of the ellipse is horizontal. All right, so the object we know very well, um, it's a circular plate, okay, having dimension in the form of 50 mm diameter. All right, apart from this, we have two conditions, okay. Now, this particular circular plate has been kept in such a way that it appears as an ellipse in the front view. Now, this particular ellipse is having a major axis 50 and minor axis 30. Now, apart from this, there is one more condition that you have to finally make the top view considering the major axis of the ellipse to be horizontal. So this is also a condition. Now, both these conditions have to be reflecting perfectly in a drawing. All right. Now I've divided this entire solution for this problem into two parts. Part one is where I'll be giving you a demonstration as to how this circular plate has been really kept. How should you begin? Whether you have to begin with front view, whether you have to begin with top view, all that sort of discussion has been done in part one. And in part two, as usual, we're going to be drawing. So guys, this in front of us is a circular plate having negligible thickness. Now the diameter given is 50 millimeters and the condition as far as this problem is concerned is that this circle appears as an ellipse in the front view. All right. So let me ask you a question. If I hold this circle like this parallel to the vertical plane, what do you see? Obviously a circle, okay, having this original true dimension in the form of 50 millimeters. But suppose if I incline this circular plate at a certain angle, certain angle say 5 with the vertical plane, what do you see now? You see an ellipse, okay? You will see an ellipse, obviously. Now, this is exactly what has been given to us. At a certain angle 5, this particular circular plate appears as an ellipse of major axis 50 and minor axis 30. All right. Now, we know very well to which reference plane is this surface inclined okay so this surface this surface over here is inclined to the vertical plane and hence what we're going to do is we're going to be slamming this entire surface onto the vertical plane you can consider my body as the vertical plane and then you've just got to think from where can you see the true shape of this surface so one thing is for sure you're going to see the true shape of this surface from the front and hence you have to begin by making the front view first and then accordingly its top view is going to be made. Its top view is going to look something like this. Okay. And in the step two, we're going to be making an ellipse based on which we'll be working out some angle phi. So let's get started. All right. Now that you know how the object has been really kept, we'll now start to draw. All right. Now, initially we're assuming that the object is entirely lying on the vertical plane. We slammed it onto the vertical plane and we thought from where can we see the true ship? Obviously, you can see the true shape in the front. Okay, so hence we are starting by making the front view. Um, this is going to be a circle 50 mm diameter. So the radius is 25. Now let's divide the circle into four parts. Let's name these four points on the circumference in the form of A, B, C and D. Okay, with a dash. It's a front view. That's why. Now let us try to take a look at this object from the top. Okay, now it's going to have projections onto this X, Y line. All right, it is on the VP. That means its projection is going to be on the xy line something like this this is going to be a this is going to be d comma b this is going to be c let's make a line all right in step two we always go for surface inclination but the problem is we don't know what the surface inclination is and i've told you already in the demonstration that the surface is making a certain angle phi with the vertical plane right now we don't know what that angle of phi is but we're going to work that out eventually now at a certain angle phi, it looks as something. What does it look like? Well, it looks like an ellipse having major axis 50 and minor axis 30. Let's make an ellipse in the front view. No issues. So for that, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be extending these two parallel lines from points B dash and D dash, any random distance. And then I'm going to be making this major axis 50 and this minor axis 30. All right. Now I'm going to be inserting this plus sign over here into a block. Okay. Something of this sort. All right. Now, this is where I have to make or inscribe an ellipse. And for inscribing an ellipse, I'm going to be using this very popular oblong method for doing so. Now, if you have gone through oblong method in my previous videos based on conic sections, you should know this very well. And if you don't, 
it's not that hard i'll explain you right now now for using oblong method what i'm going to be doing is i'll be applying this method in two parts over here and here also okay and then with the help of symmetry i'm going to be shifting or reflecting the points over to this side let me tell you let me show you rather how this can be carried out so this portion over here has to be divided into two parts and this portion also will be divided into two parts now draw a line randomly of any length and then you've got to make two points over here okay it should be five millimeters apart that will do the job no issues two points for two parts okay second point has to be joined with the end of this line so this is the end of the line this is this was the start of the line something like this keep your drafters along this line tighten the screw bring it over to this first point draw a line that's it two parts done same stuff has to be repeated over to this side. This also has to be divided into two parts. Now guys, let me tell you one more thing that if you want to go for three parts, you can do so, no issues. Now, if you're doing three parts over here, make sure that you're doing three parts here also. Okay, now if you do two parts, you're gonna get one single point. If you do three parts, you'll be getting two points over here. Okay, for N parts, you're getting N minus one points. Now let's do two parts over here. So this is the starting, this is the ending. So let's begin make two points, something of this sort, five millimeters apart. And then with this point has to be joined with the end of this line. Draft is aligned along this line, tighten the screw, move it to this first point. There you go. Watch next. Same stuff has to be repeated over to this side also. Okay, this line will be divided into two parts. So let's begin. Okay, let's me draw a line randomly. Let me make two points. Okay, rather two arcs, five millimeters apart. Okay, second point join with this point over here. Keep your drafters aligned along this line. Tighten the screw, bring it over here, draw a line. So repeat the same step over to this side. Now draw a line, make two points, something of this sort. Join this point with this point over here. Okay, keep your drafters aligned along this line. Tighten the screw, bring it over here to this first point, draw a line. Done. Now let's move ahead. What we're gonna do is we, we're going to join this point with this point over here, something of this sort. Now I'm going to produce a line from B dash. It will be passing through this point and finally it is going to meet this inclined line somewhere here. Something of this sort, all right? Now repeat the same stuff over to this side. Draw a line joining this point and this point, okay? Now start a line from B dash. It should intersect this line somewhere here. So these are the two points that I've got just now, okay? Now I'm gonna be reflecting these two points over to this side, okay? Something of this sort, okay? Draw a vertical line passing through these two points what you need to do now is to take your compass, keep one leg of your compass over here, other leg over here, with this guy as the center, put an arc, okay? Now keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here, with this guy as the center, put an arc over here. That's it. Now we have got four points. One dash, two dash, three dash, and four dash. Now, passing through all these four points, numbers and alphabets, you've got to make an ellipse, okay? Smooth curve, something of this sort, let me tell you. There you go. Okay, so finally the time has arrived that we'll get to know how much angle does the surface make with the vertical plane, okay? So for that to happen, let me take a look at this from the top, okay? Okay, extend this line in the downward direction. This is gonna be point A, all right? Extend this line also in the downward direction, something of this sort, okay? The length of this line, okay, there is a circle over here, but it apparently looks like a line. The length of this line is not going to change, all right? So what I'm gonna be doing is, Keep one leg of your compass at A, other leg at C, and with A as center, put an arc over here. So this is gonna be what you call point C, okay? Then again, join a line. Now, as far as the remaining points are concerned, we can get them, okay, by producing them down below, something of this sort. So this is gonna be four, one, okay, this is gonna be four, one. This is gonna be D comma B over here, and this will be three comma two, that's it, okay? And finally, the angle at which this circular plate appeared as an ellipse is this much, 53 degrees, okay? So make sure whenever you're drawing this on a drawing sheet or on AutoCAD, you can verify your answer with mine, okay? Plus minus one degree is absolutely acceptable. Don't worry much about it. Now guys, you can successfully claim that you have satisfied condition number one, okay? Which stated that this circular plate at a certain angle appeared as an ellipse. Now, moving ahead, what was condition number two? Condition number two stated that this major axis that is 50 millimeter axis has to be kept horizontal so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be making this line over here in a horizontal sort of way this is this is going to be b dash this is going to be d dash i'll take the center i'll take the center and this is a dash is towards the left and here a dash is going to be above this is going to be a dash c dash is towards the right 
C dash is gonna be below. This is gonna be C dash. Okay, now we have got the extreme points A, C, B, and D. So what about the points one dash, two dash, three dash, and four dash? How can I shift them from this diagram to this diagram over here? Okay, that can be done pretty easily. Please watch carefully. You see this point over here? Okay, this point. Now what you need to do is you need to keep your compass over here at P dash. Okay, one leg of your compass at P dash, other leg over here. And with this P dash again as the center, you need to put an arc over here. Okay. Similarly, one leg at T dash, other leg here. Okay, you've got to make this point over here also, somewhere here also. And through these two points, you've got to draw these two vertical lines. Okay. Now the task is very easy. Keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here. And with this guy, this guy as the center, put an arc above and below, put an arc above and below. Something of this sort. This is how you're going to be getting those points. And finally, when you join all these points with the help of a smooth curve, this is exactly what you're going to get. Okay, now let's take a look at this object from the top and let's have the projector lines down below. Let's have the projector lines from the left of your screen to the right and let's have the intersecting points. Now, let us say we want point A. So point A is somewhere along this horizontal line, this X, Y line. So this is the horizontal for A. This is the vertical for A. So this is going to be point A. Similarly, you can have point B. So this is the vertical for B. This is the horizontal for B. This point B. Okay. And somewhere along this line, you're going to have point C and this is the vertical for C. So this is going to be point C. And similarly, guys, all the remaining points can be worked out. And finally, when all of these points are joined in proper sequence, you're going to have this as the final top view, making sure that this major axis has been kept horizontal. That's it. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubts or queries, do write them down in the comment section below. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit. I'll be back with more such videos on engineering graphics. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnak signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.